I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is Richard Pham, a junior on the Menlo boys tennis team. Last week, Richard played in three NorCal matches. He won all three matches at number one singles. Uh, he was elevated into that spot after three teammates had to stay home and take the SAT. Uh, but he uh, played at number one singles. He got to, in the championship match. He won 7-5, seven, 7-5. Five, seven, five. That helped defeat Bellarmine 5-2. to two. Gave Menlo its fourth straight NorCal tennis championship. And for that performance, he is the Palo Alto Weekly Boys Athlete of the Week. The, um, obviously, uh, the start to last week, uh, prior to the, you guys winning the championship, your number one singles player, Andrew Ball, had to stay home. Daniel Morkovine, half of your number one doubles team, and uh, another player, three players, had to stay home, take the SAT, and all of a sudden you, had, you were sort of in a different situation, maybe one you hadn't been in all season. Um, yeah, but yeah, definitely a different situation. I think we kind of rose up to the, to the adversity, and we overcame it because uh, we saw it as a challenge. We kind of embraced the challenge instead of kind of fearing it. And um, yeah, definitely, we, we got pumped up and we knew it was gonna be a challenge, but we kind of, we embraced it and overcame it. I mean, you had been playing number one, you could play number one, you could play anywhere on the team. And, and basically you probably have anywhere from four to five to six guys who could play number one singles. Uh, does that sort of make it easier to, to jump around to different positions uh, like you had to last week? Um, I mean, definitely. We, our whole team can kind of, we're all like pretty close when it comes to level wise, def especially our like top four, top three. And um, I mean, we all battle with each other, can go back and forth. So I think we all know how, how to handle different situations and we all know how to handle the number one spot. This uh, Menlo team finished 28-0. You won uh, the Central Coast Section Championship for a fourth straight year. You won the NorCal title for a fourth straight year. That's never happened before in this program's history. What does that mean for you personally to achieve something like that? Um, well, has it happened to other schools? No. Um, well, I mean, it's definitely an accomplishment. That's great. I mean, I love setting records, writing history. It's obviously pretty exciting, and um, means a lot. Definitely becoming, having it become a part of this program, and knowing like that we've accomplished something that'll be here for hopefully a while. That's it's definitely a good good feeling. Well, well what made this year's team? special. You you only had two seniors. Uh, Justin Chan was the only starter, only senior starter, and Zach Chase, who was a senior co-captain. So you didn't have a lot of senior leadership. Um, but something really had to make this team special to go 28-0. Um, I mean, we're a really deep team. We don't have just a couple of guys at the top who are really good, and then our lineup kind of breaks off from there. We're As a whole team, we're really a strong team. Like. Our number eight guy can practice well with our number one guy, and I think that's what makes the difference. Because we we just have a really deep team instead of one guy who's just standing standing out. Our whole team is kind of helping us win. So now you've got 28 no. You won the All American High School Invitational in Southern California. You you won CCS. You win NorCal. What's left to do? You got to come back and do it all again next year. Yeah, that's definitely our goal. Definitely next year is to kind of do it all again. I mean. There's not really anything above it, so we're just trying to the next best thing, which is doing it all again and hopefully pulling it out next year, too. Well, good luck uh, and congratulations on a great season. Thank you.